What's going on everyone, Havoc here. Lenovo seems to be on a roll and is pushing out these updates with vengeance. The device is getting better and better with each update, and the updates are resonating with a positive effect in the community. Your Legion Space update should download automatically, but if for some reason it doesn't, then I'll put a link in the description below which you can use to get the latest update. So let's take a look and see what these latest Legion updates are, and later we'll go over the roadmap updates that Lenovo has provided. Alright, let's get started. So with this latest update version 1.0.2.3, we see controller related improvements along with other improvements, which I'll put in the planned updates below and which will be included in the next major update. They fixed the bug that required the power to be connected when switching from 144Hz to 60Hz, so now we don't have to be worried about that anymore. Lenovo added some performance profiles to the right pop-up menu as well, and now we have the option to add some custom profiles. The preset performance mode is at 30 watts DDP, full fan speed, operating system performance mode, but I've turned the full fan speed off because it's very loud. The preset power saving mode is a balanced TDP and the OS is in efficiency mode. Custom 1 and 2 are up to you to decide what settings you want to utilize. So for me, I have one at 5 watts and then I have one at 15 watts. So we can easily open the right menu and swap through the profiles with the left button or right button. This is switching places with the game profiles that used to be there. Seems more like a placeholder as they look for a more solid solution. They also added a new quick settings tab to the right flyout menu, which is usable with the controller input, including Windows D. So this will take you straight to the desktop. Escape, which is similar to what you would normally get if you pressed escape on a keyboard. And then you have your virtual keyboard, you have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, and then your folders and task manager. So there's a lot of options here. The battery info is also moving up to the top right of the pop-up menu. And regardless of which tab you're in, you quickly and easily be able to see that there. They also added a spiral rainbow option to the RGB stick lights and you can go into the Legion Space settings and then adjust it from there. And then there's other general optimizations. So that's all the updates in the Legion Space which are extremely useful and helpful. Now let's take a look at the Lenovo roadmap. So planned updates for mid-December. Lenovo is currently working on adding an option for adjusting the joystick dead zones. We should see this update coming around mid-December as the planned updates are for that. And they're also working on an Xbox button mapping to the Legion left and right sticks. They're working on trackpad vibration switching, so I'm guessing like just toggling the haptic feedback on and off exclusively for the trackpad rather than the whole controller. And to be honest, I didn't even know that this was an option before since I always keep the vibration off to preserve battery life. There's also some issues with the lighting effects that they're working on fixing. Lastly, Lenovo is working on fixing controller input duplication in the menus and games. Now these are all tentative planned updates for late December or early January. This is laid out by Lenovo product manager Ben Myers as is everything else. So for driver, BIOS and firmware updates, these will be incorporated into Legion Space which will eliminate the need to manually update through multiple paths. I think this is perfect just to have a central location for us to update everything rather than go to three different programs like Legion Space, AMD Adrenaline and Windows just so we can update the device. DPI settings for trackpad and FPS mode. Right now, I think a workaround for this is just adjusting the sensitivity individually in the different games you're playing, but this would be a welcome change to allow you to change these settings before you get into the game. There's also going to be a FPS limiter, which will include the FPS modes at 30, 36, 48, 60, 72, and a custom FPS where you can set whatever you want. Here's a preview of what that's going to look like. We're also going to see adjustable fan curves in space. And right now, there's already been support for fan curve adjustment added but it's not accessible to the users and you're going to have the ability to turn off the light on the power button just in case anyone has ptsd from the xbox red ring of death you'll have the option to turn off the red light and you can adjust automatic sleep timing on controllers as well the left trigger and right trigger dead zones will be able to be adjusted and activation point adjustments lastly we have the planned updates for next year in q1 now this is extremely tentative so key customization and key mapping uh, according to Ben Myers, this requires a lot of coordination between different teams and dev groups, so that's why it's taking so long. The use of left and right triggers for mouse clicks. Now, you can still do these by enabling them in Steam controller settings, but it would be good to have it natively supported without having to use Steam. We'll also get the ability to hide games in Legion Space. I don't really know who's using Legion Space to launch their games, but whoever wants to clean up their library can use this feature. Desktop mode or something similar. Now, I'm pretty interested to see what they mean by this as it's kind of vague. So do they mean like they're going to have a desktop mode that is more handheld friendly? I don't know. We'll see. Taskbar system tray minimization of space. I think we can already do this. We have the right pop-up menu 
opening without having to launch Legion Space. So I don't know what that's about. And then additional customization options for space. Again, no idea what this means, but we'll see. So that's all the updates we have as far as Legion Space goes for this video, along with the roadmap that's been detailed for us by Ben Myers, who is the product manager at Lenovo. And I'm pretty excited to have the Legion go and be an owner of this device because I feel like every update keeps making it better. So the more and more updates we get, the more community feedback we get, the better the device will get eventually. And let's see where it takes us. Thanks for watching. Havoc out.